Hey everybody, my name is Angie Kay, and I am a wife, I'm a mom, I'm a Gigi, and I am your gut health coach. And I help other women like myself heal their gut using food as medicine. So I wanted to talk to you today. This is my very first video for YouTube. If you um, wanna find me, I am on Instagram under Angie Kay, and I am on Facebook under Create with Angie Kay. On Instagram, you will find recipes, and on Facebook, there is inspiration and motivational quotes and just other things as well. Um, here on YouTube, I am gonna do recipes. Um, I'm gonna meet with you guys probably um, once a month and we'll talk about new recipes. You can also sign up for my newsletter. I will put that link um, down below where you will get, when you sign up for my newsletter, you'll get a gut healthy smoothie recipe, which is awesome. Um, and I'm gonna talk to you today, do I really like my almond cow? I'm gonna tell you that is an astounding yes because I even named her. I had a contest on my Facebook page and we named her Gertie. So I love my milk machine so much. Um, I use it to make my own almond milk and my own coconut milk and we're gonna talk about that today. So in the links below, you'll find the link if you wanna get your own almond cow after we talk about her for a little bit and then also where to get the supplies and the jugs that I use as well. So this is what Gertie looks like. She comes like this. Feel free, you can name yours if you want. Um, I just thought it'd be more fun when we're making milk because I, on my Instagram page, I juice and I make my milks and so I just thought it'd be fun to give her a fun name. So anyway, um, so she comes like this and on the end you've got the top and this is where your plug is, and you've got um, what grinds up all your almonds, and then on the inside, you're gonna have your plug, of course, and then your collector cup, and then what we put the almonds in. Now, I'm gonna tell you right now, so that I save you um, from messing up your inside cup, See this line right here? That's because I overfilled um, this with almonds. You are going to use, if you decide to use almonds, you're gonna use one cup of dry almonds or a half a cup if you've soaked them and you need to soak them either overnight or for four hours. So um, you'll put them in here and then you're gonna fill this. Inside there is a minimum line and a maximum line. Oh, sorry, this is awkward. Um, right there and so I do the minimum line and then I put in in my jug I put in um, just a smidgen of um, Celtic salt and a half a teaspoon of vanilla that I get uh, because I like you don't have to flavor it but I like it to have that flavor now let me also tell you why did I buy my almond cow? I bought my almond cow for two reasons. Um, when I started my transformation and healing my gut, I wanted to make sure that um, I did everything I could to eat the right kind of foods. Well, dairy does not agree with my gut. It may agree with yours, that may be fine. You can check with your doctor, but it didn't agree with me. So I had to eliminate dairy. I didn't really drink it that much. Actually, right now, I drink more coconut milk and almond milk than I ever drank any dairy milk. However, um, I when I started using almond milk, I noticed on the packaging that there were a lot of preservatives. Um, there's a lot of um, additives and I didn't want that. When I found out about the almond cow, I knew that I could make my own milk and put what I wanted to put in it. So like I said, in the jug, you're gonna put a smidgen of Celtic salt, or that's what I use, and um, pure vanilla extract. And that's just for my flavoring. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. And then in this, you're gonna put either your cup of dried almonds, you can also use coconut shreds, which we're gonna talk about in a minute, and um, you can also put in, I put in three dates, pitted dates in here. 
And then you're gonna take it once you've got it, and like I said, don't overfill because that's what's gonna cause that little rift right here. Um, I have yet to contact them. I'm sure I can get another cup, but it works just fine and nothing comes out and into the jug. But if that does open up a little bit more, then there's gonna be, you know, remnants of the what's left over inside. And then you're gonna take it and you have to do this perfectly. Everything has to line right up. And there's a little thing here that says open or close. So you're gonna close it as tight as you can. If you don't do that, when you've got it going and you run it, it's gonna come off inside your jug. Yep, it's happened to me. So then you're gonna sit it right down on top so that the little plug fits in right here because that's where you're gonna hook your, at the bottom, put in your plug for your outlet. Now, one other thing that I learned is that when I use the cycle, it has it goes through three cycles to create the milk. I do it twice because it makes my milk creamier. And you can follow them on their page because they're gonna talk about that as well. So that is the, oh wait. So then when it's done, you're gonna take it off and you can either take it like this and set it in the collector cup and let all of the rest of the milk drain out. You can also use the inside once all of the almond milk is out. You can use the inside, you're gonna have the rest of the ingredients in here to bake cookies, to make muffins, anything. So there's no waste. So that is that. And then for the longest time I got my um, coconut shreds and my almonds from the store, but they now do their own bags and I buy my coconut shreds and my almonds from them. So I do two bags of coconut shreds and one bag of almonds. And you can do that two bag, however you want for your family, but I use, um, I make more coconut milk than I make almond milk. So I will put the link for that. And then for the jugs, they send you this cute um, jug. These are, um, I believe it's half gallon. These are smaller. They send you a bigger jug. These I got off of um, Amazon, and I just love them because they remind me of the milk days when milk was delivered to my nanny's house. So it's got the lid and it's got the glass bottle, the glass jar. So I will put those in the link as well. So these are the jars that I use when I do smaller amounts of milk. Most of the time I use the big jug that they sent me. And I hope you guys found this helpful. Visit me over on Instagram at Angie K and follow me along um, Facebook to find out more recipes and more, th more things that I talk about on your gut health journey. Talk to you soon. Be well. As always, hugs. Have a great day.